Hello to a new series. This is 2064 Read Only Memories. Um, I think the whole song is turned out. Yep, yep, okay. Screen shake, full screen controls, vibration, flip, run, break through. Okay. So, I'm on Bonnerman, your host. Like, subscribe, comment if you like it. And. Thank you. For your support. Let's see what kind of game is it. It's a some. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. Okay. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations, like the human revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Yeah, it's some detective game. I don't know what it's about. We'll see. I'm I'm looking forward to this. A new cyberpunk adventure. Okay, is the game loading? Click. Oh yeah. Let's go. Twenty twelve, two thousand sixty four. Oh, sweet home. Um, maybe not sweet. Misty might be a better descriptor. Window. Use an item on the window. Talk to window. There's no one out there. Okay. Just window. Let the smell keep the window open. Better to have cross air than no air. Besides, the window's broken. Everyone loves a vertical sliding window. Slide currently broken. Window being propped up. Open by that maintenance request. What is this? This plant is really bad shape. This is supposed to be one of the easier plants to take care of. I'm not sh I don't know. Talk to plant. I say plants for your aim. It's to lead to conversation, but this poor thing might be too far gone already. <laughs> oh no. Use plant. Careful, the pudding is more fragile than a snowflake. Funny. Oh yeah, coffee. Coffee, the great equalizer, the one thing that the poor and rich alike need to cluck chuck through the day. Yes, yeah. 
<laughs> this cap already cooled off and fucking with us pots a while ago. Hey, let's take the game now. A little bit serious. Why am I poster? What is this? Your friend Ian gave this to you. The group is old, but the music is timeless. That's what he said, at least. Ouch. <laughs> Careful, that's a lot burning poster. Thanks for the tunes. Maybe one day they'll get released. Lips music. Okay. What is this? Talk to stack of papers? No. Look. Stack of paper for you. Unpublished novel. And paper is the most tankable metal, but if you're gonna be so sloppy, maybe going digital would be a good goal. No, your principles whine too much at the start. Would Hemingway go full digital if you were in 2064? Probably. A sheet of paper. A single piece of loose and sort of paper lies on the ground. Pick up. It sort of suits the room's aesthetic better with the tea on the ground, don't you think? Wow. Sink. Do I have items? Once you get through there, I'm certainly not gonna be the one to reach in spite that to receive. Wait, what is this? Your ID card. Okay, what I can do in menu? Thing? Or is it the game menu? Oh, it's the game menu, okay. Mm -hmm. A sink. We don't know exactly what that goose is, only that it seems to be growing day by day. Wow. Running water might just make it worse. Okay. Have a look at that. The video screen on the front says, Mustard half full. Spoiled milk is 10 days past expired. Ah, so total normal. Oh, there's smoke. Copy of. Steps the old books are the best, especially if your window propped open. Ah, that's why the book is here. The classic can get boring pretty fast after multiple reads. Besides, it's more useful holding up the window. What we can do. Uh, oh, door? Okay, bad. Hmm. Your home within your home. Nothing like. Curling up under those blankets and escaping away for a while. You'd better submit your article before you turn in, or you want to have a place to sleep for long. Nah, we don't want to sleep. Door. Well, at least you feel safe behind this newly installed security door. Okay. Open door. It's late and nothing is really open right now. Uh Okay. Sleep. You probably shouldn't sleep before submitting your article. Lappy. Ah, good old Lappy. It may not be the most powerful or the fastest or have the best screen, but well, it works. Ah, uh, okay. Lappy is a bit of rel of a relic. If you have an article due tonight, better finish it before bed. Uh, what is this? Okay, today is Neo as if most beloved morning show all about news and entertainment. People in Neo Oklahoma are still confused by the name. This is the show's online newspaper called The Scanline. Okay, today is usually all about feel good news, but it does focus on serious current events at times as well. Story about the human revolution. Read. Human revolution remains vigilant and stay human. Protest in upper market. Number 19. The human revolution is on day 10 of their protesting outside various genus clinics around the city, including those in the East Bay and down the peninsula. Genus, the gene 
the splicing per run facility has been met with much controversy since the organization reached mainstream exposure over the past few years. Gina's employee Mort Crane spoke to OK Today exclusively according to him most Gina's workers are up in arms claiming they're being terrorized in their own city. We are here to help people who need gene therapy for their own personal reasons, whatever they are, said Crane. Individual rights have always been of paramount importance to us, he continued, and we believe that our customer have the right to live as they please or require. The human revolution stands behind their claim that genus is diluting the human experience by providing hybrids with gene splicing treatments. Group listed the goals stated by Genus in addition to neurocybernetic technology of warping humanity into a very scary dark future. They playing God in the most senseless of ways. We were born human. Who are we to mess with your genes and start turning everybody into who knows what? Said one processor who asked to remain anonymous. It's ridiculous and scary. It's not human. More information to follow as this story develops late into the holiday. June Valma Anna, okay today. Charlie Nova, who's this? Hey, it's Charlie Nova, host of Star in the Stratosphere, and tonight <laughs> okay. in the stars, join Ryan V. Jossio and the Hassy Boys for our 10th annual TMI New Year's Eve special, where I'll interview some of the hottest celebrities and find out what their plans are for 2065. Tune in or join us live at Union Square for the big show, starting at 10 p.m. Ah, yeah, New Year's those. Uh, a story about the hometown Neo SF 49s. Yeah, went on. The Neo SF 49s quest for 10 is back on being game at Candlestick, bringing on pot the question to everyone mind. And the 49ers punch their ticket to the playoffs and bring the Lem Lombardi trophy back to the Neo San Francisco. It wouldn't mark the first win since the move to New Candlestick after an almost 50 year hiatus from the city. Since returning, they've had disappointing losses uh, to the New York Giants and the Mexico City Lujandro Torres. They brought on a fresh coach, but controversy surrounds their new quarterback, Patricia Lopez. As some local sports fans continue to accuse her of having illegal cybernetic enhancements. Certain modifications of implements uh, are banned by the Leech, but their official reports state that repeated investigations into Lopez found no evidence to substantiate these rumors. It's relevant to point out that Lopez is the first woman to ever be quarterback in a major football team. 49ers look to reclaim their top spot since their last win with the Super Bowl whatever victory over the Tokyo Titans. Sunday's game is a rubber match and the winner secures a spot the playoffs between our Neo SF 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs. It'd be cl a close game to say the least. Catch Sunday's results here first. For all think everything, I'm June Warmer Anna. Okay today. Local news article. Oh, it's the last one. Nice. Examine the headline of the local news. Story about the broken down Royo stand. Hmm. Golden Gate Park vandalism on the rise. Similar reports show that the local foodie booth JJ's Froyo stand was destroyed last night in what appears to be another case of a rogue rom committing an act of vandalism. The car was evidently attacked and damaged in a large rom that had no shell. Witnesses state the alleged pepper. A traitor has been randomly appearing at night before lumbering back into the nearby trees on the western side of the park. It's the first case of rum being reported to live on its own in the wild as a stray. Police say that tracking down a potential owner of the rum is likely impossible. Some speculate that a strange rum may have been framed by vendors who said the crime deliberately to make it appear to have been carried out by the ROM broker under order. 
Okay, today we reached out to Parallax to comment and they assured us it's the Rook ROM and purely a myth that tends to pop up conventionally when low revenue businesses have the urge to file an insurance claim. Parallax did not appreciate the reports of vandalism being attributed to their models. Is this Wild ROM the real deal or could it be a fairy tale created by those looking to make a quick buck? Or perhaps there's something else to be gained? Or as the story progresses, Mel Hopkins. Why I'm doing that? Because I'm interested in the world building. Yep. What is this? Journal logic. Tips live in box. Isn't the fan CS program, but it's the only word editor that still gets updates for a machine as old as yours. Okay. Yeah? Oh, you can review the GX Ultra Beats, you must become one with the GX Ultra Beats. Where did you put those damn headphones, anyways? Okay. The Slip Live, the premier online video network. This app is like a mesh of all extremes. You also paper thin. Watching a live feed at this hour would probably cause your neighbor to clear. You wonder if there could possibly be anything nearby that might aid you on your quest. That we got why there was this strange sound. Is there a quest now? A hell to so terrifying, so specific, so personal that no other living thing should dare enter. Okay. Okay, you're the only person with this password. Ah. Oi, 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 that's a lot. Spam me. Get cash. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Why not make credits for 30k? Simply 200 of them. Ooh. Scam? Yep. I read it. Hello there. I'm Princess Emma Thomas. Oh, no. Yes, the Princess Emma. Hires of the digital empire of the horse future. I write you today as I need your help to secure my great fortune. You see, it has become frozen and I need to transfer it to at least five different accounts for the World Bank will seize my credits amounting mm -hmm. 120,194.1 credits. Please, if you could send your personal credit ID to Marka to me immediately so that I can send you your 10% of the fortune. I only require that you send half back up and resend and the fund. You may keep the rest of the money, the best part, there's literally nothing that can go wrong. No! Prepare for yourself some regiment Megmite and welcome to the Quite Dumb. What is this email? I don't know. Oh, Bill? Hurricane has passed you the amount of credits. Failure to restore your account may result in termination of service. Ah yes, that age old choice between food or electricity. Hey there, I'm the lead editor for WTF Sounds, formerly OMG Sounds. Uh, we are a new up and coming audio review feed looking for hot talent who need a platform for their work. We'd love to feature any product reviews you'd like to do for us. We'd be able to give you some great exposure and if we'd like your stuff, we'd throw some crits in your way. Don't they know people die of exposure? Rent. According to this email, rent is nearly you. Better get that article submitted soon. Promotional. A coupon. Oh yeah! I have the infinite has all of your daily calories with none of the nutritional value, like the opposite of an invitation. An invite to come see the lightning ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown from your friends at Dr. Tricia Le DDS. Or would your dentist invite you to a lightning ceremony? Feels like a trap, probably a trap. <laughs> yeah. This is your weekly update from Vintage Tag, your number one source for classic technology. Popular pieces this week, the King of Click, a retrospective on the classic model and keyboard. 
unsubscribe from newsletter. Subscribe cannot be modified. What? Uh, okay. How can I now submit my stuff? This is a weekly update from Vintage Tag. Your number. Huh? Okay. Ultra Beats headphones, the ultimate and budget audio. You'd better try them out so you can start crafting your review. Interesting. I haven't seen them before. Uh, nothing has changed. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> That's what I heard during your voice in the high definition. <laughs> cool. Noise. These are those cheeks ultra beats you have to do produce a review on. They're smart headphones, so you should be able to use them with some things lying around your apartment. Be able to use them. Um, Automatically, as you start to watch a lion concert from Oakland, look. Uh, there are a few nice features like a new, uh, like working sound, video, keyboard, and a pop car. All the same, yep. Okay. Should try your GS Ultra a little bit more before you write a review for them. Ah, okay. Is this right? Think to let me automatically as you connect to one of the less pornographic machines. <laughs> it's like a mess up to how you usually limited to video game streams or concert recordings and live cams of baby animals. Your choice is clear. Let me speak up, being neglected, but now you have the first-hand experience needed to start actually writing the review. The first part of the work is done. You're accomplished. Oh yeah. Alright, time to get work out of the way. Let's do this. Selling your soul. Bit by bit. Character by character. Finished. Now to send it off to the editor. Yeah, your big break. Surely your glowing review of GX Ultra Beast is your ticket out of poverty and into a book deal. Surely. Work is finally out the way. Time for bed. Okay. That is a lot to read. Yeah, let's go to bed. We them. Go to sleep. Oh, hello. Who are you? Ah, good. You're finally awake. Woo! Um. I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? Uh... Ooh? Uh... Your records and entertainment media using BISAC. 
What is this? Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. Why? As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've uh, run into a bit of a snag. No, uh, what the, a snag? Uh, tell me why you're here and I'm calling the cops. Um, um, <laughs> how did you get here? I came in through the door, of course. The cryptographic algorithms it uses are actually quite atrocious. It only took me 17 trillion clock cycles to break your entry code. Only 17 trillion. It looks rather imposing, but it's actually a knockoff of the Secu Gate M stroke 14723 stroke B. Good. Mm. <laughs> uh, what? The 17 trillion? Don't feel too bad. Cheated a bit when I cross referenced likely numeric combinations against the stored personal data on you. Why? I'm not certain why you picked the birthday of your first dog, but it would be sufficiently obscure to defeat most casual attempts to enter. Mm -hmm. Frankly, I felt a little silly that I took the time to do all that once I noticed that the lock on your window is broken. Any yeah, offense that I took time. Oh my god, yes. And that you left it open. Uh, what was that about my computer? Um, why? I know a lot of things. Honestly, it would have taken me longer if I had to enter the codes manually, but it was trivial to slice through the door's firewall and try against the stored data directly. I would suggest investing in an insect model 1355 automatic security door. The 1385 is newer, but I find the added attack vector introduced by the integrated voice commands isn't worth the convenience. Um, I have no idea. The also has 300 five-star reviews on Congo. <laughs> what is Congo? Uh... But it uses a proprietary bolt head I am not equipped to remove. I took the liberty of filing a maintenance request with your building superintendent. Um. Considering the speed at which he has historically worked, I estimate it will take him 16 working days to complete the repair. Um. Not quite to my standards. Um. What, what was it about my computer? Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have had a critical failure while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. An electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. Why? You consider it no great loss, though. Uh, what does one of work? Why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? Uh... data drive contents on my storage before the crash. Additionally, I am willing to serve as your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. It is uh, the least I can do. That's nice, but you still haven't taught me why you were here. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Who's Hayden? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I haven't seen Hayden over a year. Where is he? I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope. But you're certainly the most statistically supported. Uh. Uh, I want both. 
walls. But I don't know what makes you believe that. The beginning. Okay. Yes, I can do that. Uh, no, please don't. <laughs> Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. I crawled out of a window and, after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. Um. Uh. I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. All right. And the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. <laughs> uh. Why should I get involved? I haven't seen Hayden in forever. I took into account that you might not want to help me out of the goodness of your heart, as they say. I'm sorry for my coughing, I'm still not very fine. Help me out of the goddess of your heart, as they say. But considering your recent slump in published articles and the lack of liquid assets in your bank accounts, I figured you would jump at the chance to be first on the scene of the violent disappearance of a prominent Parallax researcher right in the heart of Neo-SF. Am I wrong? Maybe you store your cash under that ratty mattress in the corner. Um, uh, yeah. Uh. Uh. I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late and has warned me to stay alert, but he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills. But I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. No, mm, oh, yeah. He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. I suspect it has to do with me. Why with you? Who are you anyway? What do you have to do with it? Ah, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. Mm, Turing. Brady. What a nice name. I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Mm, Exploring right. true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Either to stop his research, or to take it and use it for themselves. Are you any different from other Rom? So Chetty, what makes you so special? A regular Rom has virtual intelligence. They can okay. appear rather smart, even human-seeming, when you talk to them. But they're just cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. But despite my ability to self-modify my code... Yeah. I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? Uh, one way or the other. How would you? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? That's right. 
I think we're getting a little too philosophical here. I apologize for the tangent. Well, then I guess we should get started. Indeed, time is of the essence. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car has just arrived. A car? Uh, why not go to the police? They might be able to help. Okay, Bubblehead, I help, but yes, but it be a story here. No, we can't. Why? One of the last things Hayden told me was to avoid the authorities. We must be cautious about who we inform of this. My calculations show that the possibilities of a leak are dangerously high. Corruption, despite being a challenge to public trust as well as cohesion of departmental policies, is still a possibility to consider. If it becomes public that Hayden has been kidnapped, his life may be put in further danger. His chances of escape would surely decrease. We must keep this to ourselves for now. Please. Um... I'll help, but there better be a story here. My pet does not bobble, thank you very much. In addition, I would not expect you to help me without fair compensation. Oh yeah. I assure you, there is a story here. Whether you are good enough to find it or not is up to you. <laughs> I hope you are, for Hayden's sake. For Hayden's sake. Okay. Like, subscribe, That's comment, true. thank you. What a strange. But that's it for the first episode. I hope you liked I liked it a lot. Yeah, beginning was a little bit a little bit rough, but um uh, Oh wow. Really? Can I just write here? Um um, 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 Bolly, um, one Bolly man, one Bolly. And yeah, that's it. Have a nice day, have a good night, have a good fight, and hopefully see you next time. I enjoyed it so far. I hope that will be a very, very good story. Bye!